Welcome to the upgrade video where we will show you how to upgrade uh, any of the DNN solutions, whether it's DNN platform or evoke content or so on, any of the evoke solutions as well. Uh, you will upgrade them all the same way and as you can see right now I'm logged in as a super user, otherwise known as a host user, either user, either term is the same thing. Um, and you can see on the top left that there is an indication when I'm logged in as this user that I am uh, that I have an update that is pending and it's blue so that update tells me that it's just a regular uh, update of the solution uh, so there's nothing security related if there was anything security related we take that very seriously um, and we will indicate that with a red update instead of blue but because I know that I need to up uh, the site, I'm going to go ahead and perform that. Now performing an upgrade is going to be the same regardless to the version of the software that you're coming from and the version that you're going to. Um, so we have extensive instructions and uh, videos and examples and, and different types of things like that on our community wiki that you can find on dnnsoftware.com. Uh, so in order to get my upgrade package, I would go to dnnsoftware.com and if I'm going for DNN platform, I can simply hover over this download uh, area on the right side here and go to get the DNN platform. And when I click through on DNN platform, I will have the opportunity to get the upgrade package uh, down below. And so you can see install and we can also see uh, upgrade down here on the right. So here's just upgrade in the download link. I've already uh, downloaded mine, but if I'm a customer, uh, so if I'm a subscriber to any of the Evoke solutions, whether it's Evoke Content Social or Enterprise or a combination of those, uh, I can log in and I would go to a different place. So logging in is as is easy as hovering over this people icon here on the right and clicking log in. Now when I choose to, when I click login, I'm going to go ahead and use the login information that I specified during the purchasing process. Um, uh, so I might have uh, given it to uh, the respective salesperson or it might have gotten created for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in as this um, user. And when I log in, I'm going to have a new area available for me on the website. So under the support menu, we're going to see the customer success network. And so I can click through on that. And um, this is where I, me as a customer, I can come for support tickets, knowledge base, uh, software downloads, and there's much more down below. But for the purposes of today's uh, demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and choose software downloads. And so when I come to this page, I'm going to be able to uh, see at the very top whichever product or products that I have subscribed to. In this case, it's just evoke content. Um, and so in a previous video where I showed you how to install, um, you know, we clicked on new install, but because we're upgrading, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose upgrade. But I already clicked on this. I've already downloaded it before the video. And we can see that in this folder here. Uh, so uh, I have the upgrade package here. So evoke content version 7.1. Dot zero. And we can see that's indicated as upgrade because it's in the file name. And as you can see here, just like the installation file, there's nothing more than a zip file, uh, the same goes for the upgrade files, uh, the upgrade package. So it's a zip file as well. And if we open it with whatever zip utility that we want, I'm going to go ahead and use 7-zip. We can see that uh, it looks very similar to the file system of where our website is. Uh, and I happen to have the file system open for the, the uh, that website that I'm using right now, the evoke content uh, that we were just looking at, and it looks very similar. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this site. Um, so if I were to uh, uh, click on the site, it's going to go ahead and uh, take, keep me on the home page. So we can see here I'm still on the home page. Um, notice that I'm using uh, the trial right now. Uh, so if you happen to be in a trial environment, um, it's a fully functioning version for the full 30 days. And so the upgrade path that I'm, or the upgrade steps I'm going to take to upgrade this from one version uh, of the uh, software solution to another is the same exact process that I would take if I were upgrading from uh, DNN platform to uh, any of the Evoke solutions. So it's an identical process. Now, uh, in order to upgrade, I'm going to go back to the file systems that, uh, that I have here. So here's my uh, folder structure for my website. And this was dictated to me, uh, or by me rather, whenever I installed this. And so um, um, you can see that in a previous video. 
But I'm going to do, the only thing I'm going to do here, and there's many ways to, to approach like taking your site offline. There's a lot of best practices for that. So once again, go to our, our uh, community wiki on dnnsoftware.com um, and uh, look at those best practices there. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do nothing more than select all of the files from the upgrade uh, zip file. And I'm going to put them into where my files from my website lives in what's known as the root directory for it. The root directory means it's just the directory where all the files and folders are. Now it's going to ask you if you want to um, uh, overwrite existing files and folders that have the same name. And you absolutely do. And instead of choosing the option yes over and over again, go ahead and check do this for all the items and click yes. And when it asks you about the files, uh, go ahead and do the same thing. But you want to um, copy and replace instead of uh, do not copy or copy to keep those files. So you want to just go ahead and replace everything. And so at this point we can go ahead and browse to our website. And so whenever anybody comes to any page in our website, so I'm going to click on the home page, uh, they're going to be faced with a message. And um, so this is a message that basically tells them that uh, you know um, there's a pending upgrade and in order to execute the upgrade uh, they need to log in as a super user or a host user. So you're going to have to reconfirm, reconfirm your username and password. And so we can see that here. And the, uh, it also tells you that it's about the current version that you're on. In this case, it's version 7.0.6. And we're upgrading to version 7.1.0. So I'm going to go ahead and now enter in the super user password that I created during my install and click upgrade now and as you can see this is basically a one-step process I click upgrade now and now it performs the upgrade for me and so that upgrade includes uh, you know taking care of things in the database so there might be different schema changes and things um, and then it also if there's any extensions that are part of what's known as the core of the software solution um, so things that are installed by default it will update those as well it will not upgrade any additional custom or third-party extensions uh, that you might have installed at any point uh, by default. So uh, you'll have to do those separately. And I highly suggest doing that before you actually upgrade um, your DNN solution. So uh, update all those uh, extensions first. But as you can see here, uh, we're at 100% complete for upgrade. Um, and so if anything happened that was uh, wrong, uh, it, it would say something instead, uh, something about an error. And then I could view logs if I needed to. And then I, if something did happen, though, and we did see an error, I would want to roll back uh, to the previous version. So before I even execute this upgrade, you would definitely want to create a backup. Because if you perform the upgrade and something goes wrong and you haven't taken a backup, you will not be able to restore your site. Um, so backing up your site is an entirely different video. And uh, we'll go ahead and make that available to you as well. You should be able to find that in the same place you found this video. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Visit Websites now that this is done. Uh, not only did I upgrade this, but I don't, have, I don't have any fear of somebody else having executed my upgrade for me. And as you can see, it's all kind of web-based. As soon as I move the files, um, the DNN solution takes care of this for me, whether it's Evoke or DNN Platform. So now you see the page is loading, and uh, we have a successful upgrade. Uh, from the previous version of the software to the current version. Um, so uh, you can see it's, it's uh, very straightforward and very easy for anybody to be able to uh, upgrade any D DNN solution, whether it be DNN platform or one of the Evoke solutions. Thank you for watching this video.